box that aren't the hollow plank. Oh. Mine seem like those if you want to try something different. No. Welcome to Because these I might I might hunt with these ones, okay. so. Hey, I'm just waiting for it to get dark. Because I'm gonna do a little uh Nighttime shooting experiment with the 357 SIG, the Glock compensated. That old wives' tale about the flash blinding you. I uh, worked up some blue dot loads, 90 green bullets with max loads of blue dot. If anything's gonna flash, it's gonna be them. So I'm gonna probably. Uh, well, I'm either going to go blind or I'm going to hit the target. We'll see what happens. This is easy now. Yep. Easy, cheesy. Ready for some deer. He's shooting a chest size target at 100 yards with a 44 Magnum. Now I'm really going to be tempted to hunt with this thing. Got here some Dillo dust from LaRue Tactical. Yeah, good stuff. Good on eggs or meat or just about anything. Highly recommend it. Reminds me of Survivor Man. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's really good. I wish you could smell this. Venison tenderloin. Oop, I'm dripping blood all over my pants. Howdy. <laughs> Smell that? Pretty good? That is awesome. Meat on a stick. The reason that I don't think this is going to be blinding is because if you take, if you photograph fire, it isn't that bright. It really um, doesn't give off as much light as what you might think even compared to total darkness now I could see if you were loading uh, Powdered magnesium in your cartridges, you know, then it might uh, have more effect, but Self-defense ammo as most of us know is uh, low flash So I'm going to the opposite extreme with this blue dot powder on the 90 green anytime you take up a, a high volume of powder with a light bullet that's where you maximize your flash. So the, the bottleneck 357 SIG is the perfect candidate for this experiment. This is our test gun, Glock 31C. Please trade in with night sights. And I've got the plain old non-comp barrel for it. And this is the ammo I'll be shooting. 90 grain Hornady XTPs. With a max load of blue dot. And the target is right over there. IDPA steel target. And as soon as it gets just a little bit darker, we'll start shooting. Okay, it's uh Dark enough now that I'm afraid if we wait any longer I won't be able to focus the camera. So we're going to do it right now and we'll do it again when it's even darker. Well that doesn't look very bright. I'm going to change barrels just so you can see the difference in this light.
you know, it's just as bright without, you know, with the non-compensated. It's just that the the fireball is just in a different location. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put the other barrel back in. We'll let it get a little bit darker. And if it gets too dark, I've got the Glock tactical light that I can put on there. All right, now it's getting so dark that it's gonna be hard for the camera to focus. This is with the compensated barrel. There is no blindness whatsoever. I mean, like, I don't have spots in front of my eyes. I can see perfectly, like, as if I didn't do anything. And those are pretty bright, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, I I would say the same thing. I'm <clears throat> looking straight at it, too, with this camera, and I, it's not blinding me. I mean, as far as uh, muzzle flash goes, these are... Uh, significant I know that uh, your uh, self-defense ammo isn't going to flash anywhere near this much okay this is with the non-comp barrel It's the same amount of flash to me, it's just in a different location. <laughs> I do not think that uh, the compensator ports have any effect on night blindness whatsoever. I can try some of this other ammo here. Because we're having a hard time focusing now. I'm just gonna lighten me up and then shut the light off when I'm ready to fire. Okay, you tell me when. Go. Well, one thing I learned is power pistol is way more flashy than uh, blue dot. I tell I you, that was that. a pretty good fireball. Yeah, see, you know, that was lighting up my whole face, and I, I can see the target perfectly. I don't see spots in front of my eyes. I don't see any different than I did before. See, what about uh, doing one more five shots with the straight barrel. Sure, that's a good idea. Let me see that compensator. Huh? Can't see the, put the spring in there. Okay, power pistol. Wow, that stuff was awesome. Okay, I'm ready to go. And when I Focus shut the up. light off, go for it. As soon it. as the light goes off, I'll shoot. I didn't think we'd be shooting this much for this video where I would have had a bunch of mags loaded ahead of time. This is the compensated barrel? Yeah, let's verify that, shine the light on it. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's very similar to the non-ported barrel. I can see my night sights, I can see them glowing the entire time I'm aiming. My vision isn't spotty, I can see just as good as I could before I started shooting. And uh, so there's no lasting effect on my vision. It doesn't give you any kind of blindness or anything like that. And I would say that proves to me, I am completely convinced that a compensated Glock does not spoil your night vision under fire like this. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> what what did you say though? Glock what? Tactical lights suck.
Ooh. They're, not, they're not bright. On camera, sending it to Smyrna, Georgia. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Mr. Is, there any, is there any more Kool-Aid left over?